Throughout history, the mysteries of our planet have captivated the minds of great thinkers and common folk alike. But one question stands prominent. Is our Earth round or flat? Let's embark on a journey through time to unravel this enigma. Our story begins over 2,000 years ago in the cradle of Western civilization, ancient Greece. It was here that the seeds of a monumental idea were sown. Thinkers like Pythagoras, the father of numbers, first toyed with the notion of a spherical Earth. But why? Was it a wild guess, or was there more to it? Pythagoras observed the moon and speculated that if the moon was round, then perhaps Earth was too. A simple yet revolutionary thought. As the plot thickens with Aristotle, another towering figure of Greek philosophy. Unlike Pythagoras, Aristotle wasn't one to leave things to mere speculation. He provided the first physical evidence of a round Earth. How, you ask? By observing lunar eclipses, he noticed that Earth cast a round shadow on the moon, a compelling clue pointing towards a spherical Earth. But let's not forget the contributions of ancient Egypt. The Egyptians, known for their architectural marvels like the pyramids, were also keen observers of the stars. They noticed that certain stars visible in Egypt were not visible in northern regions, suggesting a curved surface. So, the ancients weren't just making wild guesses. Their beliefs were rooted in observation and deduction, setting the stage for a debate that would span centuries. As we journey forward in time, we find that these early inklings of a round Earth only grew stronger. But the path to this truth wasn't straightforward. It was fraught with controversy, debate, and a relentless quest for knowledge. So let's continue our exploration, diving into the scientific evidence that further unraveled this mystery. As we delve deeper into our quest, we encounter a powerful ally in our search for truth, scientific evidence. Let's explore how modern science has irrefutably demonstrated that our Earth is not a flat disk, but a magnificent sphere. Consider this, you're standing at the shore, gazing into the endless ocean. A ship sails away, slowly shrinking into the horizon, but does it just shrink and vanish? No. It appears to sink bit by bit, as if descending a gentle slope. Why? Because of the Earth's curvature. If the Earth were flat, the ship would simply become smaller and smaller to the eye, but never disappear bottom first. But the Earth's roundness isn't just visible at sea. Look up to the night sky. Did you know that the constellations you see depend on where you stand on Earth? In different latitudes, the stars tell a different story a phenomenon only possible on a spherical planet. And then there's the undeniable witness in our night sky, the lunar eclipse. During these celestial events, Earth casts a shadow on the moon. This shadow is not a line or a square. It's always round, a perfect circle no matter the angle. A flat Earth could never cast a consistently round shadow. But perhaps the most compelling evidence comes from beyond our atmosphere. The advent of space exploration has given us a perspective like never before. Satellite imagery and photos from space missions have shown us, time and again, the beautiful, undeniable truth. Our planet, viewed from space, is a sphere, floating gracefully in the vastness of space. These images are not just pictures. They are testaments of human curiosity and ingenuity, a far-reaching gaze that transcends ancient beliefs and confirms what scientists have theorized for centuries. So as we gather these pieces of evidence, the image becomes clear. The Earth, our home, is round, but our story doesn't end here. Despite this overwhelming evidence, there are those who challenge these truths. Let's explore the world of flat Earth theories and understand why Despite everything we know, the debate continues. As 
we venture further into our exploration, we encounter the invisible yet undeniable force that holds our universe together. Gravity. This fundamental force not only binds us to the Earth, but also reveals the true nature of our planet. Imagine a flat Earth. Gravity, which pulls everything towards the center, would create an unusual experience. If you walk towards the edge, gravity would pull you sideways, making it increasingly difficult to stand upright. Yet in our world, no matter where we go, we stand upright, pulled directly towards the Earth's center, a reality only possible on a spherical planet. But there's more to this story. The very cycle of day and night, a rhythm ingrained in the fabric of life, also speaks volumes about our planet's shape. On a spherical Earth, as it rotates, different parts of the planet are illuminated by the sun, creating day and night. This rotation also leads to the existence of time zones, each experiencing sunlight at different times. If Earth were flat, we would not have such distinct time zones. The sun would illuminate the entire surface uniformly. It's fascinating, isn't it? How the laws of physics, from gravity to the movement of celestial bodies, all align perfectly with a round Earth. They paint a consistent picture, one that matches our observations and experiences. These are not just abstract concepts. They are realities we experience every day. The pull of gravity that keeps our feet on the ground, the sunrise and sunset that mark the passing of time, they all whisper the same truth. Our planet is a sphere. And yet, despite the clarity these physical laws provide, there are voices that challenge the spherical model of Earth. As we peel back the layers of these alternate theories, we begin to understand the complex web of belief, skepticism, and the human quest for understanding. In our journey to understand our planet, we now turn to a perspective that defies the conventional the flat earth theory. It's a view held by a small but vocal group in modern times, challenging the scientific consensus with unique interpretations of our world. These proponents of the flat earth theory present a variety of arguments. They question the veracity of satellite images, suggesting they could be fabricated or altered. They also point to their interpretations of everyday observations. The way we see the horizon as a flat line, or how certain landmarks are visible at distances, they believe should be impossible on a curved Earth. Some argue that water, being fluid, should not be able to adhere to a spinning ball, but should instead be flat and level. They also question the workings of gravity, proposing alternative explanations for why we don't fall off the Earth. But beyond these theories lies a deeper question. Why do some choose to believe in a flat Earth, despite the vast body of evidence supporting a spherical planet? The answer is as complex as the human mind itself. Psychologists suggest that belief in flat Earth can be driven by a distrust in authority and a desire to question conventional wisdom. It's a form of skepticism, a way to challenge what is perceived as a blind acceptance of scientific doctrine. For some, it's about community and identity, finding a sense of belonging in a group that shares unconventional beliefs. This can be empowering, giving individuals a voice in a narrative dominated by mainstream science. Others find comfort in the simplicity of a flat earth model, a straightforward explanation in a world where scientific explanations can seem complex and distant. It's a yearning for a more understandable, more tangible world. Understanding these perspectives is crucial, not to ridicule or dismiss, but to engage in meaningful dialogue. It's a reminder that our quest for knowledge is also a journey of understanding each other, of exploring the vast landscapes of human belief and reason. As we continue to seek answers about our world, we must remember that the journey is as important as the destination. Let's keep our minds open as we venture into the next chapter of our exploration, examining how we debunk flat earth claims with evidence and reason.
quest for truth, it's essential to confront misconceptions with facts and reason. Now, we turn our focus to debunking some of the most prevalent flat earth claims using the powerful tools of science and critical thinking. One popular argument suggests that if the earth were round, people and objects would fall off as they reach the sides or bottom. However, this fundamentally misunderstands gravity, a force that pulls everything towards the center of the Earth's mass. This means that down is always towards the center, keeping us firmly grounded, no matter where we stand on the planet. Another claim involves the appearance of the horizon. Flat Earth proponents argue that the horizon appears flat, not curved. But this is a matter of perspective. The Earth is so vast that its curvature is not easily visible at ground level. It's only from higher altitudes, such as in an airplane or from space, that the curvature becomes apparent. Some also question why we can see certain distant objects, which they argue shouldn't be visible on a curved Earth. This phenomenon can often be explained by atmospheric refraction, which bends light around the curve of the Earth, extending our line of sight. Now let's talk about the importance of critical thinking and the scientific methodology. In the realm of science, it's not enough to simply observe and conclude. We must test, experiment, and replicate. It's a process that challenges our assumptions, pushes boundaries, and seeks evidence. This methodology has led to discoveries that have shaped our understanding of the world. From the laws of motion to the nature of light and beyond, Science is a continuous journey of questioning, testing, and learning. When we apply this approach to the Earth's shape, we find overwhelming evidence supporting a spherical Earth, from the way gravity works, to the movements of celestial bodies, to the images captured from space. In our journey through the realms of Earth's shape and the universe's mysteries, we encounter a formidable challenge of our times, the spread of misinformation. In the digital age, the rapid flow of information has reshaped our understanding of the world, often blurring the line between fact and fiction. Misinformation, the spread of false or misleading information, can travel faster and farther than ever before. It finds fertile ground in social media, where sensational claims often garner more attention than nuanced truths. The impact of this phenomenon is profound, especially in the realm of science. When misinformation about topics like the shape of the Earth finds an audience, it can erode public understanding and trust in scientific evidence and methodology. In this sea of information, it's easy to encounter claims that challenge established scientific knowledge. Without a critical eye and a foundation in scientific literacy, distinguishing fact from fiction becomes a daunting task. This situation is further complicated by the echo chamber effect, where algorithms show us more of what we already believe, reinforcing our preconceptions and isolating us from opposing viewpoints. But it's not all doom and gloom. The digital age also brings unprecedented access to information, providing opportunities for education and enlightenment. It empowers us to seek out credible sources, engage with experts, and participate in informed discussions. The key lies in developing critical thinking skills and a scientific mindset. By questioning sources, seeking evidence, and engaging in thoughtful analysis, we can navigate the waves of misinformation and anchor ourselves in the harbor of truth. As we wrap up this segment, let's remember that the journey to understanding our world is ongoing. In an era where misinformation can cloud our perceptions, our commitment to facts, evidence, and rational discourse is more important. Our exploration now takes us into the realm of discourse and debate, where the clash of ideas illuminates the path to understanding. Across the globe, the ongoing debate between flat earth theorists and modern astronomers continues to captivate many. Flat earth proponents argue passionately. They claim the earth is flat, 
motionless and the center of the universe. This contrasts starkly with the view of modern astronomers who maintain that Earth is a curved, spinning globe. In the world of astronomy, the flat Earth theory stands in opposition to what we observe in the night sky. Astronomers point to the changing positions of constellations and the behavior of celestial bodies as evidence of a round Earth. But what happens when these opposing views collide in public forums? History tells us of debates like those between Samuel Robotham, a prominent flat Earth proponent, and Alfred Russell Wallace, a renowned scientist. Such encounters, fueled by pseudoscience and scientific rebuttals, have left an indelible mark on the discourse. More recently, debates continue to unfold, often in dramatic fashion. For instance, a show featuring Professor Dave and flat earther David Weiss saw fiery exchanges over the shape of the Earth. Weiss argued that astronomical theories are flawed, while Professor Dave championed the scientific consensus. These debates and interviews, whether in past or present, aren't just about proving one side right or wrong. They represent a deeper quest for knowledge a demonstration of how ideas are challenged and refined in the crucible of public discourse. As we journey through these discussions, we witness the power of dialogue. It's through these exchanges that misconceptions can be confronted and understanding can be deepened. And so our exploration continues, always seeking, always questioning in the pursuit of truth. As we near the end of our journey, let's not forget the most crucial element of all, you the viewer. Science is not just a spectator sport, and we invite you to be an active participant in this exploration. We're curious about your thoughts. Do you have any lingering questions? What are your views on the shape of the Earth? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to participate in our poll where you can cast your vote and see what others think. But why stop at just watching and commenting? Let's take this a step further. How about conducting some simple experiments at home to test the Earth's curvature for yourself? Here's something you can try. The Eratosthenes experiment. All you need is a stick, a sunny day, and a bit of math. By measuring the shadow of a stick at noon in two different locations and calculating the angle of the shadow, you can estimate the Earth's circumference just like Eratosthenes did over 2,200 years ago. Or how about observing ships or tall structures over a large body of water? As they move away from you, notice how they seem to sink bottom first over the horizon, a visual cue of Earth's curvature. These experiments aren't just about proving a point. They're an invitation to engage with the world around you to observe, question, and discover. Science is a journey, and each of you can be a traveler on this path to understanding. So we leave you with these tools of inquiry, a way to connect your curiosity with the world. Share your experiences, your findings, and your insights. Let's keep the conversation going. As our voyage through the mysteries of our planet draws to a close, we reflect on the journey we've taken. From ancient beliefs to modern debates, from the vastness of space to the comfort of our homes, we've explored the enduring question, is the Earth round or flat? Thank you for joining us on this journey of discovery. Remember, the quest for knowledge never truly ends. There's always more to learn, more to explore, and more to understand. Stay curious, stay questioning, and keep exploring.